Well, I decided to finally put a face along with uh, the name. I'm Arlene, uh, and I'm from Honeybrook, Pennsylvania. I'm the one that's been doing the uh, videos on the Santas that you see uh, for the last couple of weeks. Um, I just want to share a few things with you, if I could, quickly. Um, I want to encourage you that if you're new to carving, or if you're not new to carving, to wear a carving glove, uh, the Cavalier glove that they sell. I know Woodcrafters has it, but they're very expensive. If you can get to a wood carving show, that would be the best place to find one at a fairly decent price. Um, you can almost get it for half price at a carving show. If you've never been to a carving show as a new carver, I encourage you to go. Go and enjoy all the, all the ideas and the books. It's like going into a candy store. It really is. It's, um, it's an amazing place to go if you can get a chance to go. It might cost you a couple of bucks to get in, but so worth it if you have a chance to um, get involved with that. What I want to share with you today is, I uh, just want to mention a couple of things. The glove was one. The other thing is, all my series now that I'm doing from here on out, the first Santa, um, which we had done something similar to this, um, I'm selling the blocks for that if you do not have a bandsaw. I understand the bandsaw is a um, very expensive venture for some people to buy. It's one of the most necessities in carving if you're going to do any amount of carving. You can always buy them pre-cut, but it's kind of nice to see an idea and be able to take it to a bandsaw and, and do the pre-cuts before you actually cut them. Um, I can sell you the blocks um, already cut, and the blocks I use uh, I get from a very good supplier. Um, and if you want to know who that is, just email me and I'll gladly send you the information. Uh, who I deal with. Uh, they've been great. Um, I, their wood has been excellent. It's not real old or it's not really super dried out and some of it cuts like butter. So it really makes a difference when you get a good block to work on than something really hard. It becomes frustrating, especially for a new carver. And uh, making sure your knives are sharp. Um, I'm going to get into that a little bit later, but everybody has a different way of sharpening knives. I want to tell you that there are plenty of video, uh, YouTube videos out there uh, regarding sharpening your knife. So I'm going to let you find those out and look on YouTube for that. Um, there's some, everybody, all the carvers do it a little bit differently. Um, I'm not a fan of the uh, chisel and mallet. I've done that type of work and I may do some of that in some of my teaching videos in the future. I have um, two or three things already lined up ready to go. Um, I believe we're going to do another Santa in, in, in series number three. And I think I'm going to stick with the Santas for a little while. And then I'm going to get away from the Santas and I'm going to do songbirds. I'm going to do a chickadee. So I will, and that will be wood burning and all that. And, and that will involve some sanding and things. Um, the reason I like the Santas, there's no sanding involved. Um, it's just a matter of cutting it up, painting it, and it's done. Um, with the birds, there's a lot of sanding, there's, you can use a lot of high-speed grinders and all that, and it gets very involved. Um, the wood-burning tool itself is, can cost you a hundred dollars or, or so for that. So it, it does cost a little bit more money uh, to get involved uh, with uh, songbirds, but if you're interested in that, I will be teaching that later on. Um, and I just want to share something else with you, if I could. The blocks, it doesn't matter the size of the block. You can have, a, you can have this size um, um, block that might be an inch and a quarter, an inch and a quarter, as long as it's square. And you can make them any height you want. Uh, you can make them as tall as you want, as short as you want. And to give you an example, as long as it's out of a block, a square piece, so you can make almost anything. This is a one and a half by one, I'm sorry, one inch by one inch. Well, by one and a half inch high. And these are my mini Santas. And just to show you, I made a mini Santa of the series number two that you see here. You know, and then I also have one that has a little tree. And, you know, and then I get them a little bit bigger. There's another one with a tree. That's the, uh, the first Santa that I did. But he has a tree in front of him. So there's a vastly amount of, and you can make them short and stubby, like this guy. It's amazing the different types that you can make and the different sizes you can make. This was one of my latest ones, my newest ones last year's Santas and Chimneys. 
and you can definitely tell that's out of a block and this is kind of a goofy one I have him further out where his his coat you know and you see his arms and then his body we'll do one a little differently than that but we'll also do one of these so if you're interested in doing that keep joining us I just want to make sure that you know that the blocks are available um, and that's the only thing that I'm going to sell at all I'm not going to sell tools I'm not going to sell knives or anything like that the straps is that one other thing I might get into I have to check on a couple things with that and I'll get back to you on that uh, what prices I can get it locally done here maybe at an Amish shop that I know down the road um, and the other thing I want to tell you is if you can please send me your first video I mean your first photo of the video that you're following um, if you're following my series I'd like the, a picture of your first Santa uh, the reason I would like that is because um, just to see how you're doing and also to uh, send me another one you know every time you finish a Santa with my series I ask that you keep sending me a um, a photo of it if you can do that um, because you'll notice a real difference from your first Santa to maybe three or four down the road and you'll see such a progress in that and that's partly to encourage you because my first Santas if I can find a couple of them I'll show it to you um, you don't need to be embarrassed to send them because we all started somewhere but I would love to have that if you could do that as a favor to me um, and if you enjoy the videos if you can just take a snapshot of it and send it to me I'd really appreciate it the other thing I'm going to ask you also to do is if something isn't clear in a video of the carving or something you feel is not being explained enough or is confusing to you please email that to me and then when I go to do another series I'll try to remember to incorporate that in the video um, we carvers that have done it for years and years and years we lose sight that we know what we're talking about but you don't know what we're talking about and we can say well you can do a stop cut and you can do this cut and that cut and you may not know at all what we're talking about and uh, we need to make it in a very plain language for you to understand uh, we've all been where you're at we've all started somewhere and um, if something isn't being explained correctly or you have a question how to do something I'll try to help you in the next video how to explain that and do a better job of it um, I hope you enjoyed the series I'll try to keep them coming as much as I can um, and uh, I do enjoy carving it's a very relaxing uh, hobby it's a fun hobby and I know a lot of carvers are in love with the art which I am as well and um, my motto and don't forget take your time and enjoy it there is no rush in this this whole thing is to take your time enjoy the process of it and you know I even try to enjoy the painting even though painting is not my fun part but when I'm in the mood to paint I can do six or seven and I just turn on a on the music or whatever and listen and paint or watch TV or listen to the TV and paint and um, it can be an enjoyable time so don't give up keep going at it and I encourage you to keep at it if you enjoy it um, and again um, anything I can do for you I'll try to help you with and as soon as my shop gets up and ready and I can actually teach here at the farm I'll definitely let you know um, uh, through YouTube when that's going to be available uh, I'm hoping to have Monday nights as an open house like um, a guy up in Canada has it and um, that you can come for nothing and just sit around and, and carve Santas or whatever you're working on and, and then uh, the rest of the week we'll have some classes going on that you can join okay so thanks a lot for joining me thank you for all the great responses um, it's really been a blessing. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.